So hello everybody and uh, good afternoon and welcome to um, our World Chefs webinar for today. Uh, today's webinar is it's all about uh, the World Chefs Education Partner Programme. So my name is John Clancy and I will be a host for today. Um, first of all, we want to thank you for registering in such fantastic numbers. Um, looking, at the, looking at the registration list, we can see that we have a very wide variety of of attendees coming today, which is fantastic from schools, from hotels and restaurants and other businesses, which is really great. So you're very, very welcome. Um, world chefs are very conscious also of, you know, this pandemic that's, that's raging around the world at the moment. And we hope that you're all staying safe and well. And, you know, we know it's a challenging time for everybody. So again, we want to thank you for, for being part of this, of this um, webinar today. Uh, we want to introduce um, our World Chefs president, Thomas Googler, who is going to address us. And then after that, then we will have uh, our managing director, Ragnar Fredrickson, but Ragnar will be assisting me on the uh, presentation. So Thomas, uh, without further ado, it's over to you, sir. Now, thank you very, very much, uh, first of all, for all the participants being available today. Thanks, John. Uh, Agna, Olivia and Lynn, definitely for the great efforts, always doing the utmost best for the culinary world and definitely for all the people who are interested today to know and to learn a little bit more about how to become a World Chefs Educational Partner. We all know the situation, COVID-19 pandemic 2020, the top, top, top lines all around the world and uh, we are now in 2021 and uh, no changes despite of uh, working on vaccines and whatever. And people definitely, they are desperate and at the same time, they are worried about their future. So we as world chefs definitely always trying to go new ways, new paths. And uh, one of them definitely is for our associated people and for interested people to de definitely help uh, support the culinary industry people and to definitely educate them. And one of the great opportunities is what we are offering as World Chefs is how you can become a World Chefs educational partner from A to Z. You will have actually the session today where everything will be explained to you. And I believe the most important thing after being healthy in the world and having a good job is definitely how to develop yourself and how to develop your colleagues and friends to their goals. Definitely all this applies for schools, restaurants and hotels. And uh, I see a very, very great opportunity for all of you there in definitely going into this direction. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, definitely I'm wishing you a great 2021, a great chance in the way of becoming an educational partner of World Chefs. And at the same time that we have a fantastic webinar today and I'm wishing John and Ragnar and definitely the team all the very best. And I'm looking forward to have a very, very fruitful outcome of this day session today. So all the very best to all of you. And I give back the word to Ragnar. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you for those very nice words. Um, so we're going to uh, start the presentation now. And by the way, just to let everybody know, um, this this was being recorded, so this will be available on our on our website um, later on today. So as 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 with all of our other webinars there as well, so they're all there for people to view. So let's let's start. Okay, so we're going to look at the agenda. So the agenda is as follows: we have our introduction. We talk about our education partners and then, you know, why do you want to join the benefits and um, what our schools are saying about the program. And then we're going to take a closer look at how the actual uh, application system works. And then we have some very exciting news, which we want to share with you uh, within our coming soon section. And then after that, then we will have a Q&A workshop. So feel free to ask questions uh, as you go along and we will take those questions at the end. So just to, just to kind of give a, a, if you like, a background on to the introduction of the program itself. So, so this, uh, the World Chefs Education Partner is united by a shared commitment to empowering the next generation of our industry leaders through the highest standards of culinary education. So how are we doing this? Well, we do it by setting and recognizing quality culinary education standards on a global scale with all of our educational partners and their programs. 
in doing so, we would also foster community among hospitality professionals um, right across the globe. We are also preparing for a brighter future with sustainability initiatives and education programs. So our education partners, uh, we have currently 105 education partners and training programs worldwide. And this includes over 50,000 educators, students and alumni. And if you want to see our list of, of, of schools and alumni, certainly the schools, they're available on our website at uh, www.worldchefs.org. Go into education partners and all of the schools that we have approved are in there. And there is, they have their own space, their own platform uh, with where they can promote their activities. So why would you want to join this program? Well, first of all, you can bolster your reputation by you know the program's reputations for excellence by having it having it promoted globally, not just within your own country, but also globally, and you become part of a community of schools and students, which you know promotes your campus programs. It is also a very very important and active network, which uh, offers relevant professional connections, which boost your your school your school and your communities. And um, the qualifications. You can help your students and graduates to stand out with industry recognized qualifications. Your qualifications and also the global certification program, which we will talk about later on. And um, the skills, well, you can use, you know, custom digital badging to showcase the skills and training of your alumni, alumni and the staff. Uh, the training, receive free specialized training through the World Chefs train the trainer programs. And again, Ragnar will, will, will discuss that later on in the program or in the webinar, uh, you can be featured on a World Chefs digital platforms, magazines, events, and beyond. And again, we will share all this with you as well. So more benefits again, uh, the global recognition for culinary education, you can get international visibility as part of our RQCE program. So the RQCE program is the actual program itself, recognition of quality culinary education program. And this program was established by, by the World Chefs Education Committee back in 2010. And the purpose of it was, was we wanted to recognize educational institutions who were committed to meeting the standards, you know, eligible for education at this high, very, very high standard. So we have the largest hospitality network. You can connect with the world-class companies and leaders with a World Chefs account. Again, we will talk about that later. Making the skills available. So making your students more employable with World Chefs Global Certification. This is a very key and a very important aspect to this program as well. And it's one of the key benefits. There are many benefits, but this is certainly a key benefit of this program. Building a better future. You can access World Chefs Feed the Planet programs. There are free course materials and expert training uh, modules available. Again, you know, World Chefs, we are continually expanding our range of programs on the things that we want to offer to our, to our schools. So here we have recognition. So this is where you can show off your accreditation. So this is what the, this is we just picked one school, our friends of Scoffier in the US. So this is the this is how your 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 school would actually look on the on the on the website. So you can see that there. So that can be promoted. And the information, it's your information. So you manage and control this part of your platform as part of the Hosco account. Um this one here, I think uh, Ragnar, you're gonna step in here, I believe. Yes, thank you, John. And uh... so, Great, thank you. You did, mention, you did mention community, so I guess we're sort of coming down to the uh, the nitty gritty of things of of what is the uh, the community that you're accessing the World Chef mm -hmm. Online community. To start, mm -hmm. with, uh, we have uh, uh, we have linked up with uh, uh, Hostco, so our community uh, activities are, are are directly linked to a, a website called Hostco, which is the uh, the largest hospitality community in the world so it's a great partnership and we bring into this global community we bring our uh, 100 plus schools already recognized by world chefs our 100 plus national society members and associate members and different associations of chefs mm -hmm. in 110 countries uh, and all that uh, to a community of 40,000 members direct members of of world chefs uh, online communities such as our our facebook our social media uh, that is sort of actively following our, our communities. So next mm. slide, John, uh, just to sort of give people an, 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 an idea of, uh, of what we are, are uh, actually, how we are combining these trains is, is we are uh, connecting with uh, the Hosco community, which allows our members, the ones I mentioned, and you who are listening, uh, 
it's a, a gateway to uh, over half a million uh, hospitality professionals around the globe. This is really hospitality. So chefs and other uh, uh, aspects of the hospitality, such as the waiters, uh, reception, uh, etc. you have it. Uh, what uh, th this uh, platform actually allows your members, if you are, uh, you're a school, you have a staff and alumni, your alumni, your students will be able to create their profile to have access to, uh, to right there, we say 35,000 jobs worldwide. This is a growing figure and a changing figure, of course, but uh, loads of jobs worldwide that can be directly linked to your profile. And so, so uh, each of your community will have uh, their personal profiles that they can, uh, they can uh, use to engage, access other resources uh, or job, as I mentioned. Uh, so the, the, this uh, this platform is actually also includes 6,000 employers globally. So it's a great benefit to your students to be a part of. Uh, and uh, as I said, career advice, uh, resources, library of industry insights. Uh, and, and these are all sort of the, the benefit of, that will benefit you and your community. So just to show you, uh, John, if you uh, move to the next slide, how this works really is that this is a sample of a culinary school, the Kaiping in Taiwan. They are a World Chef Education Partner. So they are, uh, you, you, they are listed in World Chef uh, Education Partner website. And once you click on their profile, it brings you their profile page. This profile page is then linked to that global network I was talking about. So you as a culinary school, you will have admin to this page. On this page, you can then link this to your own social media, your own website to get more, more information. You can uh, put your own news and events uh, as it was a social media such as Facebook uh, uh, page. And you will then be able to engage with your alumni, your students, your staff. Uh, basically, you can invite them to, uh, to follow your page so you can uh, connect with them directly. Also, the system has an algorithm. Since there, are, there is already about half a million uh, people on this platform, and the algorithm is such that if uh, any person that will create their CV, such as that you, you would do in LinkedIn, if you type now, uh, I went to K Ping Culinary School, then automatically you will be actually linked to the, their platform, their website. And uh, you can, of course, uh, Take your take your name off that uh, link, but but uh, you will be linked there as a member of their community. So you will receive feeds and information from the school. So this is a great tool for for any culinary school because what is the key to the culinary school? And you would tell me, uh, uh, you would confirm that is your alumni, is uh, your previous students. They are the ones carrying your name forward, and these are one of the tools that we give to you to uh, to allow you to engage with them. And it's about staying connected as well, isn't it? Really? Yes. Yeah, so it's. Stay connected with each other and with yeah. the school. So absolutely, yeah, a, a really valuable uh, tool. Very valuable tool, yeah, absolutely. If we move on, uh, John, uh, well, the Global Hospitality Certification, of course, and now we're getting into sort of really the details. And 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 you were a part of creating this from the very start when we uh, created this international benchmark for uh, for culinary professionals and now hospitality professionals john uh, you 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 would like maybe to add a, a little bit of of your insight into how this came about and the reason behind creating the certification yes i suppose well like you know we go back to if we go back to well, whatever 2010 or whatever it was um you know we 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 had discussions with with city and guilds and uh, we were looking at ways of how we could get chefs recognized for their skills and experience. You know, we, we, we all know that like chefs, you know, can get recognition for entering into competitions and have academic qualifications and so on and so forth. But there was no, there are, there's quite a large community of chefs out there that don't have an opportunity or didn't have an opportunity to, if you like, have some, some form of recognition for their skills and experience. So this is how the, the, the if you like, the, the recognition or the, the certification program became about in the first place. Um, and I'm really happy to say that it has grown exponentially, incredibly well. Um, you know, it started out with culinary programs, nine levels uh, from comic chef right up to master chef and culinary educator. Um, and now we've broadened it to include hospitality. So, you know, all of the activities and all of the disciplines that, that take place or that, that, that happen through the workings of a hospitality program or hospitality industry are now um, are now uh, reflected in these badges 
So there are badges, you know, for where schools might be might not just be teaching culinary programs, but may also be teaching hospitality programs. There's an opportunity there for those schools, you know, to have their students fast tracked for certification for for some of these programs. It's a it's a process. It's a mapping process and so on and so forth. But like you know, it's it's a very good process. It works very well. There's a very strong quality assurance procedure behind the whole thing. Um, and it's, I mean, it's, it's, it is getting, it's gathering global recognition at, 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 at an incredible pace. And I have to say that, you know, the recent webinars that we've held have, have been very, very interesting. And indeed, you know, we can see the, 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 the growth of interest in this, in this program. So again, this is a very strong benefit for, for schools who wish to join us as part of the um, education partner program. Yeah, and I guess the, the way it works, John, is that uh, that uh, the schools that, that you that are, are listening to us here, uh, your school uh, have their own uh, training program, their own yeah. curriculum, and uh, and what we will do is that we will map that uh, yeah. towards our standards, our standards and criteria, yeah. completely um, uh, uh, quality assured. Yeah, and the, the, it actually the, the full mapping uh, uh, entails uh, on-site inspection. Yeah. And, consulting if yeah. there are improvements to be made or, yeah. or sharing best practice experience yeah so that uh, once that mapping is done the students from your schools the listeners mm -hmm. they would be eligible to apply for global certification certification yeah further if uh, if that and we talk about badging later mm -hmm. if you go through the full mapping you can actually become a, a certification center yourself mm -hmm. it means that you have uh, a co-branded certificate, co-branded with World Chefs, mm -hmm. that will be able to then issue to your students due to this quality assurance. We know that they are being taught towards our standards. And this becomes, and I will we'll explain that later, how that becomes also your marketing tool, not just for mm -hmm. to emphasize on the quality and the quality yeah. assurance, but also, and we talked about alumni and the, the importance of alumni, they become your actually best marketing tool as well. Absolutely. And I, I think the other thing as well, which is really important is that, you know, you know, the badging has now moved into the digital area, the digital era. So, you know, it's a digital platform. So when a badge is awarded, whether it's, you know, with certification, we call it certification, but they actually get what's called a digital badge. So that digital badge is there for, the, for, for you know, so employers can access that badge online and through any of the, any of the social media platforms or whatever. So they can see at an instant click, you know, what this person is, you know, their, 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 their background, their experience, when the badge was awarded on the level of badge and so on and so forth. So it has a lot of, it has many, many benefits. Yeah. You know, we, this whole... I think the next slide, we go deeper into what a, a badge, yeah. for those who haven't really uh, uh, grasped the, the, the concept. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's actually the slide after, but the, let, let me take this one first, because uh, this also yeah. is part of, uh, uh, of the, uh, mm. the 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 uh, educational education part of it, yeah uh, to, to, to the network, and we developed uh, sustainability education for culinary professionals, and uh, it's an eight uh, day program. Uh, you will see on the slides there. It's 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 uh, uh, the introduction to sustainability and, and the agricultural, the animal husbandry, the fishing, the energy, the water, the waste management, and sustainable nutrition. We added recently. Uh, this is what is covered in the curriculum, and it's completely free of charge for those who are a member of our community. Yeah. And uh, it's already available in, in, in uh, English, French, Spanish, and Portuguese. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is really uh, important here is that this is an open source system. Yeah. Once we share this with you, we will actually uh, complete, uh, uh, we will brief your teacher how to teach this properly. We hand you over the material, and from there on, you can change and adapt it because every country is different uh, around, and everybody has a different situation when it comes to, comes to sustainability. So you need to adapt that to your local examples. So uh, what we ask is that once you have access to the, uh, the curriculum, that you inform us, us about changes that, that you know, new examples that you might include for your country, well, also for your country yeah. back to learn. So it's a, it's a continuously evolving and developing Absolutely. tool. And even further, if you wish to, if you are, are not in one of the uh, working uh, language uh, languages that we provide today, then we would be very happy uh, for assistance from your side to help us translate into more languages to get this out to more people. Mm. And I think, isn't it a great idea too that, that, you know, that, that somebody from the school can actually go and do this program and then they in turn then can become the trainer. So it's a kind of a trainer-trainer program as well. 
trainer, exactly. So we train really excellent. You take it further to your country, to your, mm. school, your community. Yeah. And as I said, it's, it's a free of charge yeah. and it's a part of uh, our Feed the Planet program. Mm. And, and just a few words, Johnny, if I may, about Feed the Planet. Sure. Because sure, yeah. There are more opportunities when it comes to Feed the Planet for you, the culinary schools, for, for your audience, uh, how you can engage, uh, engage with world chefs, engage with the global community of chefs, with your staff, with your students, with your alumni. And that is actually be, becoming a part of our social projects. And we have several, and they are great projects. And, and of course, we, we would like everybody to, to, to participate. And uh, I can mention a couple of them here right now. Uh, our Like a Chef project is actually bringing people out of poverty, giving them first, uh, 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 how do you say, skills in, in culinary skills. So they can actually create their own career and move on into our, our profession, either uh, to learn to become a, a, a certified chef, attend one of your schools, or create their own startup company. So it's creating livelihood through culinary education. Yeah. And the other one I'd like to mention is our food challenge. Mm -hmm. Food challenge is a, is actually open for all of your alumni, your students. Uh, anybody can do that, and it's actually you going into primary schools, uh, children eight to twelve year old, yeah. and talking about and teaching sustainable, healthy diet. As simple as that. We have the tool book. We have all the material. Mm -hmm. And in the past, before COVID, we would go into schools and play with the kids. This year, we did a little bit differently. We do it on Zoom, like everybody else. Yeah. But, yeah. It will not stop and uh, time comes when we can go back into and, and play with the children. Yeah. Then you have access to this, these, uh, this material that is a UNESCO uh, world biggest lesson uh, program. And ours is Food Heroes, exactly to help uh, yeah. our, 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 our country, our communities to adapt a healthier and more sustainable diet. So yeah. these are just a couple of, of, of the things that, but please go and, 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 and check the website, uh, howtofeedtheplanet.com. Uh, there's one of World Chef's websites, and you will see all the social projects that are there available to you, and we would like to be, like you to uh, participate in. So, and so. just on that point, right? You talked about then the badge, right? So if we take the next slide, you talk about the badge here. So this is this is what you can talk about this here as well. Yeah. For those who are not really familiar with badging, badging is basically it's a certificate. Everybody's looking for a certificate to show that they are evolving in their profession, that they are upskilling. It's more than ever. Uh, important right now and uh, uh, a digital badge is basically a digital certificate mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it basically allows you to showcase your skills uh, and showcase the skills of your uh, and allow your school your alumni to showcase their skills uh, to the global world we know that uh, recruitment today is mainly happening online whether it's through our own partner hosco or in LinkedIn or other websites that you know, uh, it is all happening. You're meeting employers online. Mm -hmm. So having your paper certificates is sort of uh, becoming redundant. And this is why we, well, Chef, well, quite early on, we've been um, uh, flooding the market with the certificates for upskilling and certifications. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically what happens here, and it allows uh, us to develop uh, uh, training programs or to accredit other people training programs, such as people. And, uh, once students have uh, come through the training programs, they can claim their digital badge. Mm. Claiming the digital badge, they are then getting the certificate digitally. Mm. It stays in their profile forever. It never disappears. But what they can do with that badge is they can share that in social media. Yeah. They can share that in their CV. When they do that, the digital badge becomes a marketing tool. Uh, it allows us, it allows you to uh, see how many badges you've issued for what type of programs or, or training courses and how many were shared through social media, how many impressions they got, how many likes, how many of the friends and colleagues of those who shared them noticed them. And you will see on the screen, uh, we have uh, uh, three examples there. We have the example of uh, Dilma T, uh, module one of attendee of, of a Dilma T training course. It's an we excellent have, program. Exactly. The, uh, the nutrition uh, and uh, plant-based uh, uh, diet, but there was attendee certificate, a badge with Nestle Professional. And uh, in the middle there, we have uh, a participant through our, to our Feed the Planet programs. Yeah. So uh, you see these examples, the opportunities are multiple and I'll show you more opportunities later on. Uh, we discussed already this certification, but uh, other opportunities that where well, you can take advantage of this uh, this tool that yeah. Welsh has, has uh, 
is developing. Totally. Okay, so again, these are our these are our uh, more benefits as to why you would join. So the podcasts, I think they speak for themselves. And I think anybody who has been joining our podcast, Ragnar, maybe have some ex ex excellent um, contributors like Erwitz Heath and um, and others, which is really which is really fantastic. Uh, our digital hub, I think the digital hub is is um, this is to do is this the, I see the the um, the school the children here in this one is this this to do with the the chef one. Basically, dig the digital hub. Uh, we we are, we are uh, collecting uh, information resources yeah. that are helpful for the industry. And uh, once you we have you on board the, the culinary schools and your students, yeah. and this is op open uh, open source. But uh, then we can also inform you. We will send you newsletters and inform you of of when we have a new podcast, as you said, of some yes. of very interest content. The digital hub uh and uh, the live streaming as the webinar and the webcast we're doing here and other e events that uh, your students your alumni is informed and uh, and can access these resources yeah. at home and again john uh, the the uh, i mean one one day we will get out there again we will not just be living Absolutely. in a zoom world on zoom planet and in a digital world uh we will be able to go out there again and, and meet and greet and uh, and that's actually the real beauty of our network of world chefs network uh, unfortunately uh, our congress in 2020 was cancelled the one that was supposed to take place in, in st petersburg mm. but we are very much looking forward to our uh, world chef congress and expo taking place in abu dhabi in mm. 2022 uh, from uh, may in may june uh, 2022 and uh, those who are a part of our networks the schools uh, that are uh, education partners with us they do have uh, a special conditions mm -hmm. a special uh, rates that's a 30 percent discount of the uh, the full rate for, for a congress delegate yeah. and we also have uh, young chef fees for those who are under 25 years of age mm -hmm. so uh, so we really would like the young people to come there because we have great speaker programs uh, usually about 15, 20 different uh, speaker sessions. And we have an additional session that is very targeted at the educators. Yes, there is. That's right, yeah. the educators there. Yeah, the excellent. And another, okay. uh, John, sorry, yeah. just blathering. If I, if I can finish the, uh, this sure. previous slide. The Welsh of Village. Yeah. Welsh of Village, we, uh, this is something that we do at major culinary events around the world. The last one was at the Culinary Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw uh, 4,000 chefs at the Culinary Olympics. At, at Hugely successful. Yeah, it was incredible. Huge. And, and World Chef has a, a pavilion there. We call it the village. Mm -hmm. So it's a 100 square meter pavilion. And all our partners or uh, member associations and education partners, mm -hmm. they can take up uh, a space within the village. So we, we, we resell this, I admit, but it's at a cost price that we have negotiated. Right yeah. in the heart of where the kitchens are, so it's really in the heart of the event. The action, where, yeah. all, the, where all the action is, mm -hmm. and what we do, we 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 give them our partners uh, a turnkey solution where uh, we set up a kitchen, a demo kitchen. Uh, they have access to the kitchen, so we have demos happening all day long. So from you, for your schools, you can uh, just book book a, a space and you do a demo from your school. Uh, allows you to engage with the uh, with the people there. And we do a get together every day. We organize a get together with some cocktails and food uh, to get all the chefs together. So it's a great networking event and yeah. of, uh, of, of great use to our partners who are there yeah. uh, to, to be a part of. So, so definitely. Okay, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, so just I'll just move on to uh, to um, we, we talked about Kaiping. So this is a, a message from Howard, uh, who is the superintendent of Kaiping Culinary School. I just want to say that. The, uh, we are really excited. World chefs are incredibly excited about this because we're, uh, Kaiping are the first school uh, in the world, I believe, uh, to have actually been awarded their 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 own uh, customized digital badges for the new certification program. So um, let's let's hear what uh, Howard has to say. Happy New Year, chefs around the world. Uh, my name is Howard Shah, Superintendent of Kaiping Culinary School. We are a private co-educational senior high school with approximately uh, 1,000 students located in Taipei, Taiwan. Kaiping aims to provide a world-class culinary education. Uh, Kaiping has been participating with World Chef since 2012. We were gladly recognized as a World Chef education partner since 2015. 
the benefits of being recognized is to connect our education quality standards to the world. Not only to the world industry standard, but also with quality programs globally. This means with more partners will allow us to create inspiring international exchange and collaborations. Uh, being recognized will also help students to be certified in their competency as a chef, allowing them to gain international mobility. Uh, we are thrilled to be the first to complete the new global hospitality certification system. We encourage more global partners to join this education community, uh, allow us to share and learn from each other um, so we can create more inspiring partnerships together. So, Thank you. I think that that's a, I think that was a very New nice, uh, strong, strong endorsement from, uh, from Howard and Kai Ping and uh, you know, that'll just, that's just to give an, in, an indication of the, of the benefits, you know, that, that's coming from a school itself. So that for us is very gratifying. John, maybe there's a time for one question here, and it actually directly links to your, your slide there. I have a Lebo uh, Lekotoko from uh, South Africa. Go ahead. What procedure does institutions have to follow in order to become a World Chef approved institution? Well, here we are. This, <laughs> this is exactly it here. I'm just going. Oh, sorry. I'm just going. To, I'm actually just going to go through the process here. So this is it here, actually, because uh, on our website, uh, what they need to do is they need to uh, first of all they need to read the requirements, and um, they need to ensure that their school is eligible. And what we mean by eligible is that they meet the, the you know the the terms and conditions, and that they can they can they can meet all of the twelve standards. It's important to understand that you know when we created the standards, each of those standards forms the application process, if you like, right? You know, so. Once they've, once they've uh, gone through it and said, yes, I meet all these, that's perfect. And by the way, where a school doesn't meet and may not meet all of the requirements, we will happily work with those schools. We've done it in the past and we will do it in the future, no problem, to help those schools to guide them, you know, uh, uh, through the process if, if they need be. Um, but they can also then, once they've met that requirement, they then register the school. It's very easy. They just sign up and it's free online. You create the account and then you set up a contact detail you gather the information. It's very important to actually gather the information. So what I would suggest is people do is they, they take a look at the actual platform, which will, which will be on the next slide, and then you see what's required. It's important to gather it all. I keep using this term mise en place. Maybe that's the chef in me, you know, never mind the culinary educator, but I think it's important that, you know, you gather everything so you're not running around looking for stuff, whatever. But the beauty about this program as well is that you can start it and stop it at any time. So once you, once you start submitting a, a evidence, it will automatically save the evidence. So you can go back and you can resume that evidence. The important thing to remember is, <laughs> remember your password, remember your access. That's all you've got to do. And then you can keep going back in and out any time you want. You can make changes, you can amend it, you can increase, you know, you can improve information and so on and so forth. Um, and then once, once you've uh, submitted your information, um, uh, each task has to be completed. Uh, you then get approved, but the approval will take between four to six weeks. Why am I saying four to six weeks? It depends on the level of information that we receive. If the, if if there's a if it's a case where more information is required, well then we have to wait that you know the the the, the school is going to be contacted and it's then up to the school to come back to us with that information. Uh, sometimes it can take a long time. Sometimes it can be done fairly quickly, which is great. But that's really down to the, it's down to the school and it's down to the, the actual application applicant themselves. So this is the actual application dashboard. So when you open it up, the, the system works. This is what you see. So each one of these here, you can see these are all the, the part of, part of the twelve standards that we set up. So you've got your culinary director's profile, faculty credentials, and so on and so forth, and all of these. So each one of these has to be has to be completed. So as you go along, and when it is completed, they will turn green. All of these dashboards will turn green. You can see that there, right? I've also included here, sorry, I've also included one that's uh, that's where you have some that's not. So you can see here, this is at 88.8.9%. It will not allow you to submit the application until these are all green. Once they're green, then you can go. It's a bit like the traffic lights, you know? Um, and this is the actual, this is the first page. So this is the general information page. You can see here the institution name, all the information. It's very, very easy to follow, very easy to follow. You can see everything here. You can also see here, if you already have a HOSCO account, you can put it in here. If you have a LinkedIn account, that can go in there as well. The first name of the person, whoever the primary contact is, goes in there. 
you can then also include school pictures. Now we don't do visual, we don't do physical visits, and obviously because of COVID nineteen we can't do them now. But in some cases, we would ask, say, we would ask, um, we would ask some of our experts to go and visit the schools if they're familiar with the schools. Unfortunately, we can't do that at the moment. We are prepared though to look at virtual um, uh, uh, visits, and we, we we're looking at that at the moment. So we would ask people as part of their application to provide us with photographs of their facilities and so on and so forth. And if there's a promotional video, yes, please do so. You can see here all the steps. It's a really very, very easy system to follow. So when you've actually been, been awarded, you can now purchase, if you like, a customized plaque, which we've, which I think you'll find quite, quite interesting, quite nice, a uh, very stylish plaque. That can be purchased. You will receive a certificate uh, which you can which you can display on your on your property but you can also um uh, purchase one of these as well you can also by the way when as part of this you can also use this logo here this logo can be used and we've used it i've used it in my own school here in ireland my my staff and my students have used it and we featured on the chef's jacket we also featured on the marketing on marketing and promotional materials for the school as well so it's a great way to actually promote the facts that you're a recognized school through world chefs um, okay, Ragnar, I'm going to step back to you now again. So this is the World Chef's credit, of course, that Ragnar was talking about earlier on. Yeah, I think we've been through uh, like uh, the whole uh, the, the the benefits and the reasons yeah. why and what and and how to become uh, an education partner. Mm -hmm. uh, just before we um, before we go into questions and answers, uh, I also just want to give a little bit of insight of what we are developing because uh, well we we never stop and uh, we are here to bring more value to the community. And so just to share what we are working on right now, and we come quite far and uh, we expect to launch this uh, in uh, either first or second quarter this year. So it's actually quite close to, uh, to launch. And, uh, and this would be then uh, on World Chef website, uh, the World Chef accredited courses. Uh, it basically, uh, the World Chef accredited courses allows the user, anyone who comes to our website to browse through uh, different culinary courses. Uh, it could be, uh, as you say, uh, a, a full commie chef uh, course, mm. uh, but it can also be uh, upskilling courses. It can be uh, shorter courses uh, for, uh, for continuous learning, offline or online. So they will be able to browse and search country type of course, let's say uh, uh, advanced uh, pastry making online, and then they will get a result. And this will then, uh, they would be able to access through our platform directly the training provider so it basically just brings them to the uh, whether it's the online uh, courses that the training provider has or uh, directly to the uh, application if it's an offline course of the training provider so so uh, basically we are like a catalog worship becomes a catalog of the courses of our education partners so you who are listening your courses as I said, whether it's a short continuous learning or, uh, or the, uh, the commerce chef, the basic courses, uh, you can use us as your catalog for people to find your course. Promote the course. And, uh, and so, uh, so this is uh, uh, one of the new things we're working on. And what in addition, and is very important part of this, is as you are an accredited, you are a recognized, well, a recognized education partner, uh, for each course that you want to put online, we will, with our education experts, John, we will then uh, uh, map that course. We will, yeah. uh, we will assess it through our criteria. Mm. And we will then accredit the course that you are providing with us. Yeah. And just so uh, we go back to, and back to the badging that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. If you go to the next slide, John, what happens is, when you, uh, the, our audience, when you have your courses listed on World Chef website, accredited by World Chefs, then you will become a badging partner. Mm -hmm. And what we do is that, uh, what you see on your slide there, is that we will create co-branded badges. Yeah. So whoever is going through your uh, courses at the end, when they have done their assessment, they will be able to claim your, our co-branded co badge. Yeah. This is the digital batch I was talking about that again becomes your marketing tool. It basically means that those who have gone through the course can claim the batch, share it in their CV, share it in their social media, and we will be able to, and you will be able to also track and trace uh, how many users, how many shares, how many likes 
your badges are getting. So, uh, so this is actually, this is coming, coming soon. And, uh, and we're very excited about this new development, basically to help you get your courses out there, but also to help our community access interesting and accredited courses. So. Mm, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's a really exciting uh, development. Isn't it really? That's excellent. Uh, so should we move to some questions? That I yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, maybe the, there is a question from Sebastian Lamer that uh, asking about the uh, what is the accreditation pro process requirement time length and cost and I know we, we touched base on this but uh, but this uh, we can emphasize so it's online you, you apply online yeah and, uh, and you showed on the last slides that you would apply online and you just need to uh, uh, load yeah. upload the uh, the different, uh, the different, the different, the different aspects of, of information that are required. It may, you know, in some cases it could be documentation. We would look for, obviously, we'd look for. Let's, I'll give an example. Let's say, for instance, we're looking for information on, on on programs that are being taught. Well, we would look for those program documents, you know. And by the way, to say this as well, this is very important. All of the information that 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 comes into our database is secure. You know, it is not shared with anybody, and that's a very very important point. That we we we, we want to, we we have to stress. The, we the twelve standards, John, and people will find this online. The twelve standards. the twelve standards are there, yeah, yeah, and, and the, those twelve standards actually form the basis of the application itself, yeah. you know. So, so so it's all online. You can see what sort of uh, what sort yeah. of documents you'll be asked for, and they take about four to six weeks, depending on how complex. About that, yeah, around around that time, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, and uh, the base the base cost is one thousand two hundred euros per year. Yeah. Now, some people ask me, so I often get, we often get questions like, you know, uh, how do we, uh, the application is in English. We do get some of the uh, information sent to us in different languages. That's fine. But we may request, and this is where, this is maybe where the additional information is required. We may request at some points for this information to be translated into English. Let's, for argument's sake, say if there's, if there's certain documents that we, we, we don't, well, I don't speak, speak other languages, but I know some of our team do. And if they do, that's great. That's fantastic. We have a review team and they're very experienced. You know, we take our time, we take all of this information, you know, we take the whole process very, very seriously. You know, I mean, we, we won't apologize for sort of not delaying it, but making sure that it's thorough and that it's complete and that it's, you know, that it has to be, it has to be done right. I have another question for you, John. Uh, I mean, we work a lot with America Culinary Federation. I have a question mm -hmm. for Michael uh, Levins. Uh, so the ACF, they accredit uh, schools. Is there a fast track approval process for these schools? Um, or basically, we just ask for this for 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 our purpose. That's an, inter that's an interesting point because just on that point, and I meant to, I meant to refer to it earlier on for for uh, for for schools, and we have we have an agreement with our partner, City and Guilds. So let's say, for argument's sake, a school is already accredited by City and Guilds. Well, in effect, they have met nine of the of the of the of the steps that we require for the application. So they only need to they only need to actually provide information on three of those steps. So with the, with the ACF schools, um, I, I'm not sure, I'd, I'd like to talk to Michael about this because uh, that's an interesting question actually. But again, it's something we could look at. I do know that we are getting a lot of interest from schools in the US um, who are, who are um, um, you know, uh, have expressed interest. And in actual fact, have we have actually, um, we have passed on, we've accepted them as, as part of our education partner program. So, and we're, we're delighted to have them on board without question. Right, because I have a, a, a Larry uh, from Larry Fortunato, also from America, is asking uh, uh, whether our Welsh Education Program accreditation is available to secondary school programs at career. Yes, it is. It would be. It would be if, if they teach culinary. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, no reason why not. And uh, and Larry, so the cost in dollar, so it's one thousand two hundred euros is the the basic uh, entry cost. Yeah, uh, which is then about uh, one thousand five hundred dollars. I think around that. Think around that time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and another question here from uh, from uh, from Hong Kong, uh, from uh, Zurat Kempton in Hong Kong. So he's a personal chef in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and he has various uh, lectures and classes uh, and skills training at a vocational institute in, in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. How does this program benefit me if I'm not an institution or a culinary school? Now, well, I'll tell you one way where it could benefit him if uh, he could actually apply to be he could actually apply to become a, a certified culinary educator. That's correct. So. Uh, uh, an educator, you go online. Yeah. It's an online process yeah. Yeah. that uh, that he can then uh, go through and yeah. and get that uh, label for himself. Yeah, as personal uh, personal and, and, that he can then. And, yeah, and that's another, that's another that's another point that I kind of I, I wanted to mention as well is that for the schools for the for the schools that are recognised as part of our part edu education partner program, those schools those the teachers in those schools can actually they can also apply 
to be uh, certified as culinary educators. That's right. So we have a fast track. We will fast track the certification process, provided that they meet the requirements of the fast track of sorry of the certification. We will be very happy to talk to schools about that. But that's something that we're we're looking at at the moment. But we do have quite a lot of educators who are coming to us from recognised schools, and we welcome them. Right. Uh, I have a, another question, just to, so we can clarify for Alan uh, McCabe. Uh, do staff do staff have to be uh, World Chef members for the school to apply? Hello, no. Alan. Alan is based up in uh, Dundalk IT. Um, he's in my part of the world. I hope you're keeping well, Chef. Um, yes, Alan, they don't, they don't have to be part of World Chefs at all, actually. Um, you, can, you, can, you can simply just apply as an individual. Uh, we have that program at the moment. We, we actually, we, we ran a, what we call an Irish project here in Ireland uh, in association with City and Gills and in association with our training board, Solace. So we have had, we have actually awarded uh, some of our some of the trainers, some of the teachers and some of the uh, in some of the training centers and some of the institutes, they've already um, benefited from the certification process and they're now certified colony educators. And I think they're they're some of the first in Ireland to be awarded. So yeah, absolutely. So, so, so give me a call on no the staff of the school does not have to be a member of the National Chef Association. Not necessarily. No, no, no. Well, if they are, well and good, but they don't have to be. They don't that have is, to be. You know what I mean? We would love them to be, but these are very, yeah. very different things. Uh, yeah. A school can apply. They apply as education partners. Yes. And, yeah. uh, we do not ask whether their staff has paid any membership dues in, in different uh, associations. No, it's not, it's not uh, our business. Of course, we, we, we would, we would want, want them to Absolutely. encourage them to become involved in the National Chef Association, so they're a part of, of World Chefs, with yeah. all the benefits that are uh, applied. But yeah. of course, a school has a lot of staff, not just culinary teachers. That's uh, right. The school oh. has all type of staff and they wouldn't have to be World Chef members and not necessarily. No. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, and, I mean, and, you know, and you have, we, have, we, have, we have lecturers who are, who are delivering hospitality programs. They're quite entitled to apply for hospitality badges so it's it's open it's open to that's correct open to them all. absolutely it's even open to i mean you know if you think about the hotels the heart the heart hotel we have badges for managing directors we have badges for food and beverage managers you know so it's the, the range is the range is vast i mean people can go on to our website you know you'll see that you'll see all the badges there um they're, they're all there for people to view the good thing about them is if you click on a badge you can then once you click on the badge, you then click on more information, you will then be able to download the handbook so you can actually see the information and the requirements for that specific badge that's in there. A lot of work and a lot of information has gone into that. I would also um, um, ask people to refer to our FAQs. We have an, an extensive FAQ um, 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 database there. And I think we have answered nearly most of, if not all the questions. And again, we've used, we've had the benefit of the webinars and the great questions that we've been getting from the participants as well, which is helping us too. Yeah, yeah. So, any more questions? There are plenty of questions that we won't be able to go through all of them. No, we won't, but, uh, but we, what we can do is if they want, they can, they can, you know, they can still, they can still post the question if they want. And what we will do is um, we can take a look at those questions afterwards and we will, we will, we can answer them. And, and, yeah, there, there is one question, John. I just want to, it, it comes up and from June uh, Steenkamp and she asked, and if uh, schools are accredited with other international regulated bodies, yeah. why only city and guild? And, uh, and I, I think it's important to point out in this that, that uh, well, first of all, to become a, a World Chef uh, education partner, that is uh, uh, n not, not exclusive to City and Gales, it's to, uh, to uh, any, any school can apply. They would just need to uh, uh, fulfill our criteria. World Absolutely. Chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's no, we don't, we don't distinguish, I mean, you know, with, with schools. I mean, no, I know it's really coming, John. So, so she's talking about the global certification. So in order to be a, a certification center. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, and so where you become, when you become a, a, a certification center, you become a certification partner of World Chefs. World Chefs, yes. World Chefs is quality assured by City and Guilds. Yes. Yeah. That is the nuance. So That's it. no, you don't do not have to be the school does not have to be City and Guilds school. No, no, no. Well, so most, the, the majority of our schools, well, are Chef, City Guilds schools. schools. Our, our program is legitimate. We yeah. are assured by a global uh, quality assurance body. Yeah. Yeah. And there happen to be City and Guilds. That's it. So, uh, so just to show that we are, uh, are, um, are clear on that. Yeah. About the, uh, the standards and the criteria. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't exclude schools from for being no 
Absolutely not. I mean, we welcome all schools. We welcome all schools. Absolutely. There is a, just to finish off that uh, on City and Guilds, John. And uh, so you might ask us and answer that for, uh, for Gary Pryor. So if an approved center for City and Guilds culinary course, are you still approved for the 12 criteria for World Chef approval? So, I guess okay, we, so, no, so what, 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 I think, I, I, think yeah, I know, I, I think I referred to this before. I think what, what, what I would say about that question is that where, where a school is already, where a school is already accredited by City and Guilds, they have, they have automatically met, provided that they meet them, because if, they're, if they've been accredited by City and Guilds, that means that they've met, they've met their standards. So we have mapped the two programs. We've mapped the requirements of our, our, of our program and the City and Guilds program. Um, so, you know, they're, they, it's more than likely that they will, if they will have matched at least in nine of, their, on nine of the parts. Now, having said that, right, I do know that City and Guilds have a new, they have a new program. So it may be a case that maybe some of those, that would have to be looked at and reviewed. I can't actually answer that question directly without looking at the evidence and seeing you know, are there shortfalls? And if there are shortfalls, well, then those shortfalls will have to be made up by the school, you know, for, you know, to, to include them in the, in, the, in the application. But to answer the question briefly, under normal circumstances, um, and we've had this in the past, where a school has already been accredited by City and Guild, they have automatically met nine of those standards. So they only needed to complete the other three. Does that answer the question? Hmm. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I have a Chuck Jackson also, um, and, and I, I really like the question because Chuck, Chuck is asking, so they are ACF certified teaching, teaching Thai fruit and vegetable carving. Yeah. And uh, can we have a co our course available through you? And this is actually, John, the, uh, the, actu the actual, the, uh, the World Chef accredited courses. Okay. The last, the last part that I was uh, presenting that we will launch in this quarter or next quarter of this year, mm -hmm. Uh, we will then look at shorter courses yeah uh, continuous learning or very specific courses i think that would be fantastic if we brought there they'd be a fantastic addition to this program available on world chef's platform absolutely as school, but as a training provider yeah fantastic mm -hmm. definitely we'd look at that no question yeah okay i'm just i'm just conscious that we're kind of we're kind of running but seven minutes over time so i just want to just want to thank all the participants um for, for, for engaging and uh, it's been a really, really uh, interesting webinar. And I'm sure Ragnar, thank you as well Ragnar for your time and also Thomas um, for his, uh, his, few, uh, his, his kind words at the start. Obviously wanna uh, thank Lynn and Olivia. Sorry, Olivia for getting a name the first round. We got a bit flustered at the start. That's what live, this is what live television and broadcast does to you like, you know. So look, you know, you can, you can access this, this, uh, this webinar from our website, um, www.worldchefs.org. Um, where all of our web, all of our webinars are, our podcasts and all the other events. So finally, just in closing, we want to wish you all well, stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you coming forward um, as uh, and applying for our education part <laughs> program. Everyone. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sign off. And again, just thank you all uh, for participating. And as I said before, we we're thinking of you all. Uh, the power of the white jacket. Let's keep it up and uh, stay safe and stay well.